How's it going everyone? Virtually Chris here. Welcome to a new series called Open Pilot Updates. This past week, Open Pilot version 0.4.7 came out, which added a bunch of new stuff, a bunch of tweaks, and a bunch of improvements that have really made a big difference in the driving experience of Open Pilot. The first of which is the new model, which I went for a test drive for, and man, it is really, really good. This model was trained on HDR data from OpenPilot users, and it is definitely much better at recognizing lane lines, especially the yellow lines it had a problem with before, but now that this new model is out, there's really no problems there, and it can take roads that it's never taken before in my testing. It's very impressive. I know Kama AI wants to be better than GM Super Cruise by the end of the year, and I can totally see how they're going to do that with these new models starting to come out. That leads us to the next update, which is improved actuator modeling to reduce lateral wobble. And this is just really great, because there's always been this wobble in open pilot. It's gotten better and worse throughout the year or so that I've been using it. But man, wobble is basically dead in the Honda Civic in this version, which is really, really nice. Even at high speeds, which is where that problem started to show up for me personally. So now on the highway, I really stay centered in the lane perfectly, and there's no problems there. Really impressive. Also, there are a bunch of new cars supported as of this week, which is awesome. Honda Bosch is finally getting official support in the form of a Honda Bosch Giraffe, which you can now buy on comma.ai slash shop. And that adds support for the Honda Civic Hatchback, the 5th Gen CRV, and the Accord. And that's a lot of new cars this week, but also they added GM support with the Chevy Volt and the Cadillac CT6. So if you have either of those cars, definitely be sure to check out OpenPilot. It now may work with your car. That's everything that's going to affect the users of OpenPilot out there, so if you're still on an older version of OpenPilot, be sure to uninstall and reinstall, or SSH and git pull the new update, because man, it is really awesome. See you all in the next OpenPilot update. Bye!